10 seconds out. Stand by on the floor. Have a good show, everybody. 3, 2, 1, and we are up. My cue. Cracking through the crime data in mid-Missouri, how your town stacks up. Q. Missouri lawmakers pay tribute to longtime Congressman Ike Skelton. Q. A toddler caught in the middle of target practice, what officials are calling a horrific, deadly accident. Q. And what this new facility means for Stand many Missouri show open. families. KMU 8 News at 6 starts now. Show open. From Studio 8A. Coverage you can count on in Stand high four definition. Two. This is KOMU 8 News at 6. QM. New numbers on crime in mid-Missouri. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reek. And I'm Brittany Peeper. Crime is often the top story here, especially in Columbia. But how Super. bad is it and how do mid-Missouri towns really compare? In tonight's Target 8 investigation, we take a look inside the numbers to see package who's really at risk. KOMU 8's Nicole Niedenberg dug into those reports and tells us the places crime happens might surprise you. And packages. Since 2001, every police department sends the FBI its reported crimes for the year. The FBI uses this information, putting together Uniform Crime Reports, or UCR, for all violent and property crimes. And according to the UCR reports, Moberly has fewer crimes reported than Columbia in 2000 and 2010. Yet, Moberly has a higher crime rate per 10,000 people than Columbia. I believe that the crime in every year Please. fluctuates. And it's difficult to pinpoint uh, different trends and what may be going on in our community. Tar says in some years there might be more property crimes than violent crimes. For example, in 2011, Moberly had 31 reported violent crimes compared to 471 property crimes. This graph shows the population, crime reported, and rate of crime per 10,000 people for Columbia, Moberly, Ashland, and Missouri. Now what this shows is that though an area could have a smaller population, Fewer crimes reported, yet it could still have a higher rate of crime. But many Moberly residents feel safe regardless of a higher crime rate. I have to walk basically everywhere I go, and every evening uh, I'll leave the store and walk five and a half blocks, various directions to the post office, to, uh, ultimately to home, and do I feel safe? I do indeed. Moberly's rate of crime per 10,000 people in 2010 was 16% higher than Missouri as a whole. Ashland population doubled between 2000 and 2010, and its numbers of crimes decreased by 250 reported crimes, lowering the rate from 331 to 92. What mostly occurs That's is that it varies over the years. There didn't seem to be a particular pattern in Ashland. Tar and Wolford say they use the data to look for crime trends Stand they by. can Here focus on for future prevention. Out. Nicole Niederberg, KMU 8 News, Moberly. And for them. Columbia's population also increased between 2000 and 2010, yet the crime and rate per 10,000 people nine. decreased by 35 crimes. To find your town's UCR and reports, you can visit our website at komu.com. And five is in. To a tragic story just outside of Springfield where a four-year-old was shot and killed in a backyard. Yeah, Investigators then. say it appears to have Please been a super. horrible accident. It happened in Rogersville where Christian County Sheriff says a man was shooting Stand a 22 Sabio. rifle at an old jug about 20 yards away. He was standing on his right side against a small outbuilding, which left a blind spot to his right. The sheriff says that's where toddler Zoe Dugan of Branson got in the line of fire. And Sabio's in. Approximately the same time he pulled the trigger, the, the young girl ran in front of him. The bullet struck her in the head. I don't know enough facts to be able to sit here and tell you that negligence is the cause here, Same but it sure looks to be. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Zoe did not Stand live in the house. She and her mother were visiting the family who lives there. At this point, no charges have been filed against the man who fired the gun. Thank you, Britt. New at 6, 20-year-old Laryl Banks was sentenced to 10 years in prison for his involvement in a March 2012 Columbia shooting. Yeah, this is the crime scene back on March 4th when 39-year-old Lamont Sargent was shot. We'll wipe Banks was next. charged with hindering prosecution of a felony and distribution of a controlled substance. He was originally charged with second-degree murder, but that Stand charge was graphic. dropped. And wipe another graphic. Currently, 21-year-old Devontre Logan of Columbia is serving 20 years in prison for his involvement in the murder. Logan was charged with second-degree murder and armed criminal action back on August 6th, 2012. And six and standby five. A consumer warning for you: scammers are 
are targeting customers of Mid-Missouri Central Bank. Customers have received automated phone calls warning of issues with the bank's debit cards. Central Bank's senior vice president says the bank has no connection with the calls aiming for people's Stand sensitive five account information. And five in. Today, Missouri politicians took time to remember Ike Skelton, a longtime Missouri congressman. Graph again. Stand by five again. House from 1977 to 2011. Five Five's Eugene back in. Killed Stand by four. Who served with Skelton and has more on what they're saying, Eric. And Erickson. Ike Skelton died Louis last Super, night in Virginia at the age of 81. And even though he's gone now, his fellow politicians say his legacy will last for a long time. And Sutton. One day after former Missouri Congressman well, Ike Skelton's clear, death, but, mm. praise from his political colleagues is pouring in. Missouri's 6th District Congressman Sam Graves released a statement saying, quote, Though we're from different parties, I knew I could always work with Ike to benefit our state. The most heartfelt comments came from fellow Missouri congressman and longtime friend, Emanuel Cleaver. The people of Missouri... Second in a minute 30, a little more than a minute we, left. Uh, we uh, just experienced. Skelton served as the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, was a champion of the military, and was instrumental in building up Missouri's military bases. We would not have Franklin Women Air Force Base uh, still in Missouri. Uh, or Fort Leonard would, but for Ike Skelton. Cleaver told me Skelton's work for the military didn't end when the session ended. Skelton would sacrifice his Thanksgiving and his Christmas to be with soldiers in Iraq. But to Cleaver, he was more than a trusted public servant. Thirty seconds left. He was a trusted friend. Ike Skelton was like a, um, a big brother to me. He was always embarrassed by it, but I have a, a huge photograph of the two of us hanging on my wall. Cleaver said his friend's legacy will continue. Stand by four. That person is actually dead as long as they're remembered, and uh, Ike Skelton uh, will, uh, as long as I'm alive, be remembering. And four is in. Now, it's not just no Missouri politicians that. mourning the loss of Skelton. Graf President again. Barack Obama Game issued a statement spins. that reads, To many in Congress and across Missouri, Ike was a mentor and a friend, and he will be missed. Michelle and I send our thoughts and prayers to his wife, Patty, his family, and his loved ones. Thank you, Brett. Funeral arrangements for former Columbia City Councilwoman Almeida Clayton six. have been set for November 1st. The visitation will be from 10 a.m. until noon, and the funeral will be right after that from noon until 1 p.m. Both will be at Second Missionary Baptist Church downtown. Creighton died Monday, October 21st. And six is in. The family is also set to fund the Boone County National Bank in downtown Columbia and is asking the public to help in paying for funeral expenses. And four is in. Stand she by boxes. She was at the forefront of integration of Columbia schools in the 60s. Today, she's getting a new memorial in her honor. Boxes. Natalie Granda joins us live at the side of the memorial with the details. Natalie. And she's in. In a couple minutes, people will be coming out from the ceremony, the memorial ceremony, wrapping up inside out here to unveil the Beulah Ralph Memorial. I got a quick take. And I'll go ahead and take Bio. Monica Naylor, who says she was truly touched by the memorial and says it's a true representation of everything her mother did. And Lou Super. Now, the memorial took around a year and $10,000 in donations to complete. The memorial was part of a larger beautification this project, much uh, project earlier. for Douglas Park and the Stand school by. area. Live and shot. Say this live shots back in. Stand by. On six on Brit. On the community. Reporting live in Columbia, Natalie Granda, KMU 8 News. And six is in. Stand by, Dave. A wet and gloomy day out there today. Let's check in with Dave to see if there's more of that coming. Dave's in. And yes, there is quite a bit more of that coming over the next day uh, into uh, probably Thursday afternoon. Picked Here's up all about graphics. four tenths of an inch at Columbia Regional Airport. Right now, according to live Doppler 8 first alert radar, some very light sprinkles going on uh, in portions of our viewing area. Some Once of the heavier done, ones we'll in the last Dave hour have been down in Camden County near the Lake of the Ozarks. That has since moved over into uh, Miller and into Mary's and Pulaski County. And a couple of thunderstorms are rumbling in association with those uh, couple of cells there. 59 in Jefferson City, 55 in Moberly, 59 in Boonville, 54 in Herman. These temperatures will likely remain through the nighttime hours. I'm actually expecting temperatures Same to rise have. a little bit by the time we get into 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Me. It'll still be much rain in the forecast, but that morning drive to work temperature will be around 60. More on the forecast Dave coming in. up Same in just cheese. a few minutes on KOMU 8 News at 6. Q anchors. A love that's lasted seven decades. Meet two Missouri siblings who call themselves the Cardinals. Lucky charm. White view. Plus, two years and more than $2 million in the works. What this new home means for mid-Missouri families in need. 
handbrake is in.